YouTube, what's good, y'all? You know, you know who it is, man. It's your boy Breon. So, happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers out there. And to all the single people out there, too, man. Y'all need loving, too. But listen, though, man. Just getting off of work and everything. You know, I'm definitely going to do a reaction to my wife's reaction to her um, Valentine's Day gift. You know, normally, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day because it's a regular day. You understand what I'm saying? Why must I appreciate you for one day? Well, I can appreciate you for a lifetime. You understand what I'm saying? I'm married to you. You understand? It's to us to, you know, to death do us part and everything. So, what's going on with y'all? So what? Say shit. It's real though. But uh, right now, man, you know, the vibes for tonight, man, you know, we staying in the crib, watch movies. I'm gonna make some dinner for the wife and everything. She she wants me to cook and everything for her. But uh, as y'all can see right here, I went to my spot. Shout out to my mans for hooking me up, man, with a great price. And also, I bought my mother a Valentine's Day gift. You know what I mean? I bought her some sneakers, but my wife some sneakers. You know, ain't no need for the teddy bear and the chocolate and the candy and all that other stuff. What my wife need that for? I'm a big teddy bear myself. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna hit y'all back, man. Right now I'm making my way to the supermarket. I got everything prepared and everything except for one thing. I'm making my Italian pork chops. And y'all definitely do me a favor. Hit that like, hit that notification bell, so your boy some love to the page and everything. You know, I'm still technically new to this, but hey, you know, everybody gotta start from somewhere. So, I'ma hit y'all back. Let me go in the crib, drop these sneakers off. Another thing, cause it's brick city outside. It's actually 34 degrees right now. And my hand is kind of freezing. Hold up this phone, so, yeah. You too, man, so I'm back, man. Your boy's back, you hear the water running. Ready to start at prepping dinner and everything, getting the pork chops and everything seasoned, letting them brine for a little bit. About to add the Italian dressing to it before I, before I go and, you know, put them in the oven. Got the oven on, waiting for that to, you know, make some noise, let me know. You know how it is, I went in the oven, just let you know that it's ready, it's preheated. But um, I know I was supposed to show y'all the sneakers and everything, and you're missing me walking home from the supermarket. It was extremely cold, so my hands were freezing. So, you know, I said, you know what? I'm not going to even do a video of me leaving the supermarket and all that other stuff, man. It was extremely cold, y'all. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like 34 degrees outside, okay? <laughs> but um, let me show y'all this, though. Pork chops and everything, letting them, you know, rest. I had to soak them in, in olive oil, you know, as I see. I'm gonna move this around though. This is the seasoning. And let this, you know, soak in the meat and everything before I put bad boy in, big homie in, you know, got my my extra virgin olive oil and everything. But yeah. So let me sit out for a good, I would say a good five, five, ten minutes. And then once I put this in, let this soak into the crescents of, you know, the bone and all that other stuff in there. Let it soak in the meat, and I leave that out, let that brine for a good 25 minutes, and then after that, it goes straight into the oven. But until then, until then what's going on with y'all, man? Let me show y'all the surprise, man. I didn't think I was actually gonna do this. You know, let me go in the room and everything. You know, y'all forget my door. But uh, I didn't think I was going to do this looking my sneaker collection up there. You know, it's still, still growing, still growing, though. But, uh, you know, I didn't think I was going to do this. I was at work and everything, and I said to myself, I said, yo, listen, you know, I forgot to give my wife a Valentine's Day gift, and I know she's going to watch this video. And um, I said to myself, what am I going to get her? You know, she's not really into the flowers and the teddy bears like that. I bought her a bear and everything. Bear's still in the closet. <laughs> but um, I said, you know what? Let me go do something. Let me go get her something that she likes the most. And I kind of hook her up, up up on it. And that's a pair of sneakers. So in the midst of me, you know, shopping and everything, 
I got her the number one thing that she always wanted, and I never thought to buy her this. I've been buying her all these type of Jordans and other Nikes and everything. But let me show y'all this. To y'all, it may be old, but to her, it's going to be new because she never had a pair of these, and she always wanted a pair of these in this particular color too. So let me let's definitely show y'all what your boy done did, right? You know, I got to look and see. I done bought her these joints. And these joints are clean, boy. Whoo! All black. Fit Max. You understand what I'm saying? She always wanted a pair of these joints. And I said to myself, you know what? This will be a perfect Valentine's Day gift for my wife. You know, just, you know, something different. It don't have to be a necklace. It don't have to be a charms. I done bought her all that other stuff. But I want to be different this year. And I got her an all black pair of the Vapor Max, you understand? But let me show y'all this though. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, you know what man can celebrate Valentine's Day without you know also giving to his special girl? And the special girl, my special girl. Oh, am I opening this box up right? <laughs> my special girl is my mama. You know, she just had a birthday and everything. Y'all, y'all forgive me, man. I went to the laundry, then got the clothes and stuff. So just forgot to. Fold them, but I said to myself, you know what? Let me think of my sweetheart too. So I got my dukes, a pair of these, and she don't even know. She always wanted a pair of these, but you know, right now we live in New York, and everything is cold. It's raining, and everything. We get some, we got some snow coming, and all this other stuff. So I figured, you know what? Let me let's get this out the way. You know, she didn't want a pair of boots. Her birthday was February 6th. She didn't want no Uggs for Christmas. You know, I got a Michael Kors bag and all that other stuff. So I said, you know what? Let me do something different. Ma, you know, I know you're going to watch this video too. You know, but, you know, did something special for her as well for Valentine's Day. And I would definitely be getting her reaction. But right now I'm preparing the dinner for when, when you know, wifey gets herself together and everything. But... Other than that, that's that. Like I said, I don't really celebrate Valentine's Day like that because for the fact is this, you know, why must I celebrate you on one particular day where I can celebrate you for a lifetime? You understand what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person to where, oh, oh, you got to do this, got to do that third on Valentine's Day. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a must. No, it's not a must. It's a man-made holiday. It's not a holiday that God created. You understand what I'm saying? So I'd rather just do something that God, that go by the biblical ways, and that's to honor and cherish. You understand? And that's to be there for my wife at, at, at all times. You understand what I'm saying? That's at all times. So, baby, listen, you already know how I feel about Valentine's Day. You know, regardless of what, how the world may say, my, what everybody else may say, at the end of the day, listen, baby, you know I love you. You will be my forever Baby, not my baby mother, but the mother to my children. You understand? But other than that, I'm about to finish cooking and everything. And I will definitely see y'all when wifey come back into the crib. You already know, man. Let your boy finish up. This is a little short, short little video. I'm going to finish everything. Get myself some rest. Well, I can't rest because I'm cooking. But, you know, it's it's five it's 5.43. Wife won't be home to seven. It's gonna take me about an hour to, you know, finish and prepare everything. And then once everything happens, man, the next video y'all will see me. Y'all will see when the meat and the pause, but y'all will see where the pork chop <laughs> and all and everything else is, is 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 extremely done. You understand? But listen, man, y'all definitely post your likes, man. Your comments, the Christmas, mm, woo, Jesus. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all forgive me, your boy's tired. Subscribe to the channel, man. Show your boys some love, man. Show your boys some love, man. You know, I'm, I'm technically, I'm still new. There you go, the oven. There you go, baby girl. Then say, and I'm ready. All right, but um, subscribe to the channel and all this other stuff. I, I got some, some more stuff coming and everything. Yeah, you listen, man. Y'all definitely, you know, show your boys some love, man. I'm gonna be posting up some videos <clears throat> of me doing some more playing on the piano and everything in the church and doing all this other stuff. I got one video up here on YouTube of me playing praise worship at the church and everything. And I got a couple of videos, man. Just got to make sure that everything is edited right and all this other stuff. 
But listen, man, it's your boy, Breon. I'm going to holler at y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. This is the part one, part two. We'll come to y'all in a few. But other than that, y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your family. Your, your, you know, even for the singers, for folks. Enjoy yourself. If you're going out with a couple of friends, man, be safe out there. But other than that, man, keep God first and everything. You know, all things is possible through him himself, man. All right? Part one, part two is coming soon. Peace out.